Yar, ahoy me mateys, Super Spaz be here, and welcome back to Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke. Um, I should probably use my normal voice, because my absence warrants a bit of an explanation. I was forced to find a job as soon as I got back from school, so I was not able to record as much as I would have liked to, but this is the first time I've actually had a lot of time alone, so I might get one or two episodes off at this point. So, let's explore the city, guys, like I promised I would do last time. I won. I won, then I lost. <laughs> no. Gear Station is trains where you can battle other trainers. The battle subway. You're a trainer, aren't you? Please, just accept this without a word. Shh. Just take it. Okay, lady. I will take your versus recorder and be on my way, I suppose. I don't really want to deal with the battle subway because it's a lot of hard work. And by hard work, I mean battling. I mean, who has time to Pokemon battle? We have enough that we have to deal with already. But Pokemon battles? I mean, that's not at all the point of Pokemon. So, the si any just take any of these and you can find the item shops, th which is my main goal here. Um, so, originally, I was going to go ahead and do I gave myself infinite battle points because every time I would be at a gym I would give myself one of these TMs because I didn't want to go through the battle subway and do all that stuff but it looks like I can find them in reality here because I'd looked it up and apparently I'd already gotten some of these TMs so I was like really confused so I'm just gonna go ahead and see what I find in nature and if anything by the end of the game I don't have I'll just go ahead and give it to me I feel by that point it should just be a reward rather than a uh punishment to start fighting in the battle subway. I'm using these controls way wrong. Again, I took a one month break, remind you. Mind you. Shiny Crocorock. That is not a shiny Crocorock, sir. People say shiny Pokemon. Nobody cares about shiny Pokemon. I have one, but that doesn't mean it's special or anything. It's not very good. I actually... Oh, shiny stones. Oh. That would have worked on uh, Lady. I think. No, that's is that Dust Stone? I don't know. I think it's an A stone. It's some sort of stone, and it's not a leaf stone, so it must be a sunstone, maybe? Oh, yeah, that reminds me. We should look at the team because I leveled up everybody a lot. I need to level up Mr. Sparkles now. Uh, let's take that item and give you. Let's give you the big root because that is very good for you. You know, because you are a grass type. Um, and I'm going to give him the XP share because he's about to level up and evolve, I believe. No, not the Skull Fossil. Oh, that also reminds me. Um, I can do the... I figured out where <laughs> I can revive my fossils at because somebody so kindly told me. Um, I have to go back to another city, but luckily I taught Talon Fly. You didn't see me teach him Fly, but I taught him Fly. So now his moveset is Fly, Quick Attack, Close Combat, Aerial Ace. Pretty solid, I'd say. Everybody's getting up there. We got some good moves, but we're not done just yet. I need to do something with Lady Chuck, because she just learned... Oh, what did she just learn? Energy Ball. Which is a very, very good Grass-type move, which is the last Grass-type move I want her to learn. Before she becomes... Wait for it... What? Lady Chuck is evolving? But what could Lady Chuck possibly evolve into? Well, feast your eyes, kids, because today we got ourselves something very elegant indeed. In fact, it's got elegant in the name. It's a Lilligant. Well, not elegant in the name, but it sounds elegant. So now we have Lady Chuck the Lilligant. Let's check out her stats now. The moveset I have her with right at the moment is Giga Drain, Extra Sensory, Stun Spore, and Energy Ball. Stun Spore is only around so that I can catch Pokemon more easy, easily. And she can't be confused, which is nice, I suppose. 88 Special Attack, pretty solid. And everybody else is good to go, I think. Just Ozzy and Mr. Sparkles need some levels. Oh, did I go? Yeah, I went everywhere in here. Did I go everywhere in here? That's not right. I think somebody gives me something. I mean, it's always safe to check when you're in a town to see if somebody gives you something. It's a wise move to make. See? Strength. Look at that. I would not have found that if I had just gone on by. Actually, come to think of it, I do know somebody who might be able to learn strength and make use of it. 
Oh, I also found Dig. Um, I'll- more on that later. I will show you where I did find that. Because I was training, I didn't go into the next area because I know I have to fight, or I have to catch Pokemon in the next area. And I also realized that we are about to hit the mother- it's a Rock-type move? <gasps> oh, god, yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ozzy, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, let's get rid of Sandtomb, screw that. We got some pretty powerful moves for Ozzy right now. Ooh, I'm really happy with the fact it's a Rock-type move. Let's see what you have for me. Big Stadium. Oh yeah, that is really hard. Don't go there unless you have a Death Wish. I went there and barely survived. I went off against like level 43s or something like that. It was intense. But I managed to pull through. I actually didn't take that much damage. I, I'm kind of lying to you. <laughs> but... No, I handled it pretty well. It was... No, I don't like the look of this place. It looks like I have to battle. The battle test. Wait, what? I've never seen this. I'll judge your battles in a battle test. Um... Well, I mean, I, I'm not gonna count this for the Nuzlocke. Oh, no. It's too early. Oh, gee, thanks. Well, that was a pointless segue. So, there are a few places we can go. We can go to this amusement park. Not going to do that just yet, and I'll tell you why later, because we'll probably go there later. Or we can go talk to Bianca and just get whatever pain we have to suffer through out of the way. Ooh, Spaz! Are you interested in musicals? Then let's go together. She stops you anyway. There, I have to do this. Like, I'm really sorry. Amazing, isn't it? It's me! Hello, you two! How do you do? I really have only one old man voice in my arsenal. <laughs> I just realized that. Oh well. I'm the owner of this theater. Pleasure to meet you. Mm, uh, quite. Ooh, I must say that you two seem like phenomenal trainers. What do we do here? Well, it's kind of evolving into not an old man voice, if anything. We use props to make your Pokemon fashionable and glamorous. What do you want to join and, and play dress up? To get you started, here's a prop case. You know, I don't remember having to do this in the games. I'm gonna be completely serious. <laughs> I don't want to do this, actually. This prop case lets you store props for decorating your Pokemon, yes? Hmm, quite. First off, you need to pick a Pokemon. But I don't want... Ooh, I wonder if a shiny gets special treatment. And he's still kind of cute. Then, it's time to play dress up. You, you can't be serious. Oh, yeah, I can use the mouse as the stylus, though. Let's put a bow on... No, wait, I don't even get to do it? Just let me do it, okay? Let's cover his eye. What? I can't... What is this? A, a hoop skirt? A tennis... A maraca? A, I can make a Mexican... Do I click? Oh, I guess... I guess. <laughs> yeah, shades on a Cyclops, that's smart. Alright. Uh, I do want to make him- wait, I got this. Can he hold maracas? Is there anywhere on his person I can put a maraca? Let's just go with two bows, I guess. Um, a belt? No, he can't wear belts. A top hat. Yeah, there we go! You're looking classy there, Mr. Sparkles. Let's go with a cane, uh, a bow tie. I don't think he can wear that either. Also, it lagged. <laughs> I can just put more bows on him. I think that's good. I'm good. I'm good with that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, dear. Wow. The two of you did a fantastic job coordinating everything. Utterly charming. If you have a Pokemon who can play dress up, you can participate in the Pokemon musical. Hmm, would you please join us? The receptionist can explain everything. I say a brief farewell. Let us say a brief farewell. I eagerly anticipate seeing you on stage. I have no desire to participate in this musical. Oh, I don't know what to do. Doing the musical would be totally rad. But there's other stuff I want to do too. Okay, that's it. I made up my mind. I'm gonna go see the sights in Ibasa. Say a spaz. I think that's what I'm gonna do too. Screw this musical. I just dressed up Mr. Sparkles and that's all there is to it. No more. Daddy, what are you doing here? I've come to take you back home, of course. Your mother told me that you're a terrible, terrible trainer. Haven't you gone far enough? 
Look at the damage you've done. No way. I'm the very best and I'm gonna keep traveling with spasmite Pokemon. Absolutely not. Others do things their way, and we do our things to others first to ours. <laughs> Is that so? Then how about you do things your way, and I'll do things mine. Sweetie, you keep going on your travels. Oh, well, now I've just chosen her voice. My name's Elsa. I'm this town's gym leader. I also happen to be a model. You know, there are many people in this world. There are people whose way of thinking may be completely different from yours. Sometimes, this means you get, may get hurt. She's just a really high-pitched Bianca, isn't she? Bianca. Bianca? I guess V and B really do sound the same, huh? Of course. That's exactly right. That's because I'm worried about that. But it's not important to keep trying to learn about the differences between yourself and others. To learn that being different is okay. And you shouldn't worry. Trainers always have Pokemon at their side. Pokemon are wonderful. It's not only how cute they can be, but also how much you can depend on them. Please. I know there's gonna be painful stuff like you're worrying about. I know, really, I get it. But, like, listen. There'll be tons of nice people, too. You know what else? Since I've been traveling with Pokemon, I've already gotten tougher, I can totally tell. So, please? Hmm. I guess. If wanting to continue your journey is selfishness on your part, wanting to stop you is selfishness on mine. I'm surprised to find I'm the only one being childish. At my age. And, uh, this gym leader's comments help me wake up. Uh, Bianca, I'm sure it's better that you take the path you want to take now. I hope your journey will be fun. Bon voyage. Spaz, please, take care of my little girl, if you know what I mean. Ah! I'm sorry. That was, a really, I, that was a grosser noise than I expected it to be. Papa, I'll come home after I find out what I really want to do. I'm sure if he traveled as a trainer himself, in the past, being a parent must be hard. Did I meddle unnecessarily? He looked troubled, so I decided to chime in. By the way, if you're trainers, please stop by the Pokemon Gym. I'll teach you how a little something about how tough a journey can get. Was that a threat? I think Elsa just threatened to kick our ass, not today. She's so cool. Ha! I totally want to be a cool woman when I like Elsa. Hmm, I wonder how I'll get there. Well, before that, I guess I need to discover what I really want to do. See you later, Spaz. Gee whiz, that was a heartbreaking moment, I guess. Um, let's go this way and catch a new Pokemon, shall we? So, anyway, as I was saying way, way back, I can hatch false Hatch fossils now. I can hatch fossils now. So, that's gonna be regulated. Okay, here we go. First Pokemon on the route. Let's see what we get. Ekans, I see. So, let's send Mr. Sparkles out. He's a poison type, so it won't do that much damage to Ekans. And... Nor Dark, I can do either. Well, let's see what Pursuit does to him. Yeah, that should be fine. He won't do too much to me, since I'm a poison type myself. Yeah, I can definitely catch him. If I, if I hit him with another Pursuit, I should be fine. Alright, now let's catch him in a Pokeball. Right, let's just use a straight up Pokeball. How come I have 20 Cherish Balls? What's the dealio with that? Um, yeah. An Ekans. Not a bad choice, but it's a choice. It's something. It's another Poison type that I don't want to use. Alright, Ekans. Let's see. Sneaks through the grass without making a sound and strikes unsuspecting prey from behind. Well, now I know what to give you. You, sir, are gonna have to be referenced to Solid Snake. Because, I mean, you sneak through the grass unannounced. Kind of like Solid Snake. So, let's call you... Uh, Metal Gear? No. Soft Gray Fox? I mean, that's like their emblem, right? Um, Raiden, then. I don't know how to spell Raiden, but... I think this is how. Ray... Raiden? Eh. Raiden the Snake. I don't play the... Oh. I don't play the Solid Snake games, uh, Solid, Metal Gear Solid series myself, but I know of it, and I think that's enough knowledge to give me- Ooh, hey, a cut tree. 
let's cut down this tree. Go Flambo. I really need to get rid of that move on him. He's he's got so much more potential in for cut. I don't know what I was thinking. Psy Shock. That's a good TM actually. Um, I'm gonna go check out and see who can use that real quick. Uh, let's see. Rock Smash. Not I'm really glad. I'm liking these moves I have. They give you some pretty good stuff in the beginning. Unfortunately, Psy Shock's really not. Oh, it's three. Let's see, it's only 80 power. Well, let's see who can learn it. Nobody. All right, that's fair. I guess. Let's use this dowsing machine and be on our way. Oh, another encounter. Another Ekans. I guess this is the Ekans grass. I'm just gonna run because there's no, well. No, I can't beat it. I'm not gonna try. I mean, I can. It just won't do a whole deal of, uh, won't be, ooh, there's another Pokeball over there. I think I need strength to get to that one, though, but luckily I have strength. And over here we have the Lost Lorn Forest. I believe this is where we can get... No, oh, Home Claws. Um, no, that's not what I was gonna say. I believe this is where we can get Zorark. Zorark? Oh, hey, a Surskit is our first Pokemon here, so I guess I won't be catching Zorark. Um, Surskit sucks. I mean, maybe he's better in this version, but I don't remember him being very good at anything. I just remember him being very fragile and... Uh, I can I can handle a few more hits. Not a critical, though. I think I can catch him, though, after this. Alright, let's use a Great Ball on this guy, because I'm a little afraid I'm not going to get it. I think I should. Ah, oh, forget the suspense. It's just a Surskit. Alright, um... Skating on water. Uh, Christina Ricci? I think she was in a skater movie. I'm going to name you Skippy, actually. Because you, you look like a water skipper. Or skimmer. Skimmy? But that doesn't sound right. Skippy's better. I like Skippy. You done good, Skippy. You done good. Skippy! Skippy peanut butter. Alright, Skippy. You are... Yeah, you're a surf kid. I'm a little upset about that catch. Um... Oh, the item's up there. That's why. That's why. Dang it! Oh, I could've... Can I, like, have a freebie there? I mean, I'm not gonna try and catch him now, obviously. That's... That would be very dumb. Um, I would probably lose, yeah. I'm gonna come back when I have a little bit more meat on my bones to do that. I do want to catch him. Oh, I know, I do have my rule, huh? I can catch him. I can sub him in and delete two Pokemon, like that Ekans I just caught. Or Granny. Yeah, if I had to catch Zoroark, I'd probably get rid of both Granny and that Surskit I just caught. To be quite honest. I already went down this route and fought all the trainers, but I'm going to go ahead and push this boulder. Actually, come to think of it. Oh, and boulders stay permanently in their places now. I gotta go heal, because I just got in a battle with Mr. Sparkles, and he's a little... He's a little worn down. And if I'm gonna train him up to level 30 and have him survive, I kinda want him to be a little bit... You know, not dead. So... I should probably go hatch my fossils, too, before we go and challenge the gym. So I'm gonna go on this route, catch a couple po... Well, I already caught a couple Pokemon. I suppose I could check... Skippy and Raiden's natures. I'm hiccuping. This is bad. Abort! Abort! Hiccups! Okay. So, let's see what is up in this grass. I know I saw an item. Okay, already a battle. It's a zebra, zebra, zebra. A giraffe ring. Psy it's a psychic normal type. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that it's gonna have a super powerful move and kill me in one hit, like Stomp. But I'm also not afraid because it's a psychic tie. It's a strength, it's not bad. I always thought that it should be psychic normal, t I mean psychic dark type. I mean, look at its back half. It looks like a dark type Pokemon, does it not? I'm not just like hallucinating here. This giraffe rig should definitely be psychic normal. I mean psychic dark. Gah. Speaking of psychic dark Pokemon, did any of you guys see the new Pokemon that just came out? Like, not just came out, but came out recently? I'm a little on the fence about some of them, but some of the other ones look kind of cool. Like that little Helio tile thing. Oh, that is sick. Oh, man. Mr. Sparkles, you look like... You look like a Japanese emperor. I should have named you, like, Samurai. I think somebody actually suggested something like that. What do you want to learn? Baton pass. Bat bat We're not a baton pass team. We do not have the meat and bones for that. No, 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 no. We're not doing Baton Pass. Maybe later, but not today. Not on my watch. So let's check out Mr. Sparkles' stats and see if he's 
anything worth sneezing at. Uh, 60 attack. Even with lowered attack, that's not bad. His speed's good, though, at least. At least he can outspeed most things. I'm also gonna heal him. Because he's a little bit... A little bit out of it. And I should use up my potions. Alright, we're good. We're good to go. Let's fight this trainer up here and hope to god I don't die. Uh, because all roads are connected, I can go anywhere and challenge anyone. Uh, well, if you can walk that far, A, and if you have Pokemon to fight them with, B, both those things help. Perfect! A, bug a grass type Pokemon to use my bug type moves on. Twin Noodle! Yeah! You're like the, uh, you're like the pinhead I never had. Oh, pinhead. Uh oh. Hey there. Um. I'll just spice up and use Poison Tail then. Sucka? Cherim, you disappoint me. Monferno, yeah, I'm switching Pokemon. I'm not touching that with a 10 foot pull, but Ozzy, however, can. Also, in this game, Dig is 100 power, so it's pretty OP now. So I'm gonna use it and demonstrate Ozzy's true power. Because the last part, Ozzy was a complete pussy. Um, level 31. All right, we're getting up there with Mr. Sparkles, but he's not going to be too much use to us in this next gym. I mean, maybe he's a backup. Pokemon who will be useless to us in this next gym in include, but are not limited to, Sergeant Baja and Talon. So, <laughs> we're going to like... Oh, hey, a double battle. Well, both of you guys do need experience. So, hopefully you won't die. So, let's use... Hey, let's use Poison Tail and Zangoose. And let's dig out this Glamey out. I'm not afraid of a cat. Hey, poison the Zangoose. Nice shot, Mr. Sparkles. Assist. So what does that even... Oh. <laughs> you just... You chose the wrong Pokemon to attack, dude. I really hate this double battle graphic. It's so glitchy. I don't know why, either. I don't know if I can do anything to fix it. Oh, yeah. Right. That's gonna be super effective. Did you really just use Charm on me? Did you really just use Charm on me? I don't know, I don't think you did. Zangoose in fight, let's use Strength on Glamia. Because, I mean, I go first, so there's nothing to fear here, unless I miss. But the Fury Cutter guy is gone, so I literally have nothing to fear. Alright, let's take this. Payback. What is with all these TMs up in here? Alright, let's get out of here. I think Payback is what killed Pooh, too. That or it was, uh, Revenge. I'm not sure. You're, yeah, well, I could, I could definitely fight you. Pursuit will also work. It'll also do some damage. Not as much as, like, Twin Needle. See, that thing knows Baton Pass, and guess what? It's useless. Why should I take it, huh? Why should I take Baton Pass when obviously it's a useless, useless move? Actually, Baton Pass is a very good move. For competitive battling, that is. Okay. okay. I'm just gonna run, because I don't want to deal with whatever flack they're about to give me. Okay. Good. At least I know I'm faster than them. But this is just annoying. I just want to get out of here and go... Uh, hatch... I, I guess I'll hatch my fossils. Hatch my fossils. Stupid. Um, yeah. That's the plan. And I can fly, so it's not like it's gonna take me a lot of time anymore to go back and forth. And then we go to the amusement park. So, I have to deposit some of my Pokemon to go get these fossils. You're gonna notice the graphic on the side isn't gonna change, because I'm probably not gonna keep any of the fossils in my party. Alright. Pokemon, let's go. Talon, let's fly. Gonna fly now. Um, uh, Nasrin City? Yeah, it's Nasrin. Nakreen City. Nakreen! I have about 10 minutes left to go. So that I should be able to hatch my fossils and go to the amusement park and see what's in store there. I should put away three of my Pokemon because I've beaten three gyms. And I can hatch three fossils. Uh, if I can, you know, get there. Alright, deposit Pokemon. I probably shouldn't be counting my chickens before they hatch. And I guess I can deposit them here. I guess in the meantime, too, I could, uh, check out... Uh, I need you. I'm gonna check out how what my Pokemon are looking at like right now. Just real quick. Uh, the ones I caught anyway. What are you? You are a naughty, naughty, naughty Surskit. Swift Swim. That's well, not a terrible ability. Shed Skin and a Lonely Nature. That's a pretty good nature for an Ekans, actually. Because it raises its attack but leaves its special attack intact, which I believe is just about as high as its normal attack. 
correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Ekans and Arbok respectively have like an equal special and physical attack stat. So let's talk to the scientist over somewhere. I believe it's this guy. Skeletal specimens are so mysterious. Uh, nope. Is it you? I actually don't know where he is. Uh, it's not you. Maybe it's on Lenore's office. I have no idea. Oh, I guess I can't go to Lenore. I can. Yeah, is it the science guy in there? Oh, it's Lenora. Okay, she's not helpful. Can I not revive fossils yet? I'll bet I can't. I'll bet that's not a thing. <laughs> now I'm just wasting my time looking for all this stuff. Uh, any got it? Anybody? No? Poke oh, hey, yeah. Yes, please. Um, so we have four options. Roof fossil, skull fossil, cover fossil, plume fossil. I j I'm gonna go with the cover fossil first, because it's the Tortuga, I believe. Tortuga. I don't know how to pronounce it. Titaroga. Tertoga. -tur -tur like Tortuga. Okay. Tertoga. Oh, I just realized I have to nickname all these Pokemon. Yes, I will. So, you look like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, and you're blue, so I'm gonna name you Leonardo. Obviously, right off the bat. Uh, Leo. Or I can just call you Leo. Le le make it, uh... Yeah, Leo. I like... No, Leo. I like Leo. He's short, sweet, it sounds like a mobster. Let's check out Leo. What you looking like, Leo? What, what's your nature? Please be good. Uh, quiet... Well, it's already a slow Pokemon, so I'm going to assume... That's terrible, I'm sure. Oh. Solid rock, what does that do? Reduces damage from super effective attacks. Nice! That's a pretty good ability, I'll take it. Uh, next, let's see. Yes, let's go with the Skull Fossil and get Craniados. Craniados. And then Rampardos. Um, Craniados, what should I name you? Uh, I don't know. Cinder Block? Cinder? Uh... What's thick skulled? Q ball? How do you spell Q ball? Is it like Q ball Q or is it a Q? Oh, uh, you know what looks cool? Q <laughs> Dash Q ball. It's like my nickname in college, Q tip. It's because I look like a Q tip, I guess. I don't have like fluffy white hair or anything like that, but I just I guess I look like a Q tip. Uh let's do the root fossil, because I hate I hate Archaeopterips. Archaeopteryx? Archaeopteryx? Its ability is stupid, is what I'm trying to get at. Every time it goes below half health, its attack gets cut in half, too. Lyleep. Uh, what do you- Oh, I had a good one for this. What does it look like? It looks like- like a piranha plant. Petey. Petey. Petey the Lyleep. Petey. Also, like the rat from Unforgotten Realms. Go watch it! I'm not gonna provide a link this time, but if you didn't watch it last time, watch it now. Petey the piranha plant. Alright, so, we got Petey, we got, I already forgot, the cue ball, and Leo. Let's check out cue ball. Uh, quirky, no stat change, I don't really care about that. Mole breaker is okay. Uh, suction cups, negates all moves that force switching out. Hey, that means I can keep ingrain. Um, and it's a relaxed nature, which means its speed is lowered, which it already is. You know, these aren't great Pokemon to deal with, but I mean, they're good replacements or bargaining chips. So let's... Actually, I should move, huh? Let's move some Pokemon around. And again, you guys can always suggest nicknames if I may have missed some super cool reference I could have made. But, I mean, really, that's all my Pokemon are, is references. References to other games, or movies, or other things. Anyway, let's move, let's get my Pokemon back in the party, and let's go to the amusement park and have a fun day at the beach. Um, Pokemon, let's switch Ozzy. I still need to get Mr. Sparkle some levels, because he's not, he's my least powerful. Everybody else is around 36 or 37, which is fine. I don't mind that my starter is lower than everyone else, I just usually like it to be. Oh, right. I need to fly, gotta fly now. Not summer, you dumbass. Okay, fly. Alright, here we go. We probably have just enough time to go to the amusement park, so count your lucky stars we get to go to Disneyland today, kids, because we're about to run into somebody I, well, I'm not too fond to see. And I'll give you a hint, it's not Bianca. It is this guy. Hey, man, you're looking for Team Plasma, right? 
They ran into the amusement park. Come with me. Yeah. You know, on a scale of 1 to 10, though, I'm pretty high right now. Yeah. So this is a Ferris wheel. We're just gonna take a little ride. They're not here. Let's ride the Ferris wheel, though, like I said, and see if we can spot them. I love Ferris wheels. The circular motion, the mechanics. They're like collections of elegant formulas, man. So this is um, a little awkward. I'm kind of riding in a Ferris wheel. First, I must tell you, I am the king of Team Plasma. That or I'm just so high that I think I am. But, Genesis asked me to work with him to save the Pokemon, man. I wonder how many Pokemon exist in this world. So many, dude. So many, dude. Whoa. Ah, jeez. My Lord N. You're safe, sire. There's no problem here, dude. You're part of the people we brought in to help us save the Pokemon. So you're under my protection as well. Go quickly and let my battle cover your retreat. Now then, Spaz, do you follow my logic? Yes, I do. If true, your words please me. Ah, then, the future I envision. Perhaps I can't beat you here and now, but I'll battle you to buy time for these members of Team Plasma to get away. Alright, another end battle. These are usually unique. I believe at this point he has... Zorark? Maybe. Who knows? Team Plasma and Hippopotas and that thing. All right, Hippopotas can be taken down by Ozzy, I suppose. I don't know, ground, Bug is resistant to ground, is it not? And Ozzy is also resistant to the Sandstorm. So I am gonna use Twin Needle on this Maractus and I'm gonna use Dig on Hippopotas so that Maractus cannot hit me. Hopefully Mr. Spark, yeah, Mr. Sparkles goes first, of course. Ooh, this Maractus is pretty durable. Ooh, a critical hit, though. And Ozzy's out of the way of any of Maractus' attacks now, which was my acupressure. Oh, it's it's powering up hip hop. No. Oh, good. Just saying, Tomb, I thought it was gonna use Earthquake. I was like, I was ready to go dead silent and end the part right there, like, somebody dies from an Earthquake. Probably Ozzy. Probably both of them, actually. Look, we can sand Tomb here all day, but it's really not gonna make a difference that you're dead from Twin Needle now. Yeah, okay. Well, I don't think Hippotus is dead from, um, whatever it is he just got hit by. Dig. What he's about to get hit by. I really wish I'd taken that EXP share off Mr. Sparkles now, because now he's just going to get a lot of experience and be over-leveled. I don't need him to be. Okay, now Hippotus is using Dig, which means either I can send in... Okay, here's my strategy. I got this. Shh, I got this. Sigalith, Flying Psychic, which means I should probably follow suit. And Psychic... I'm just thinking here. Okay, Pokemon. Let us switch in Talon, so if he's trying to hit him with Dig, he can't... Oh, right, Santum. Uh-oh. Um... This isn't good. <laughs> this isn't good. I just immediately drop dead like... Mr. Sparkles is probably gonna die right now. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But in case he's using Dig on Ozzy, let's use Dig on Hippotus. ha ha pa patatus And hope that... I can survive these hits. Okay, dig underground. Go, Ozzy, go! Okay, thank God. Oh, yes, he was aiming for Ozzy. Perfect! Alright, we can still get out of here. As soon as he gets out of that sand tomb, I'm switching him out. No, we don't need any of this. I can fight back this time. Let's use Pursuit on Sigilith because he's a flying psychic type and it's gonna be super effective. And that's all I really need right now is a super effective move to hit him. Oh, that didn't do anything at all. Oh, Light Screen. Oh, that raises special defense. So, a good thing I'm... All right, this is bad. This is bad news bears right here. I really need this uh, sand tomb to wear off now, or else I'm gonna have to use another potion on him. Uh, so let's use oh, let's use a potion, I guess. Just to try to keep him going. I don't want him dead. Definitely don't want him dead. But I can use Crunch on Sigilyph because I'm really not worried about Hippotus because it didn't use Dig. I kind of want him out of the way. All right, let's just fast forward. Synchronize does not affect, Ozzy does not affect anybody. What is Synchronize even? Who knows? Now Sigilyph is down. 
And Ozzy is gaining little to no experience from this. E-experience. I'm an idiot. Wait, freed from Sand Tomb. Okay, now I can get out of here. Gligar, ground flying type. Uh, let's see, who... Who is good against ground types that we know of? Hmm, I wonder. Sarge Baja, I think it's time to let the artillery fly, as it were. Ooh, and Rock's gonna be really good against that Gligar. Not that I'm worried about Hippotus at all. Hippo... Hippopot... Hippopotus. It's like Hippopotamus. How... Whoa. Whoa. Oh, right. I'm fighting type. Oh, that's in... Oh, right, because he's... Uh... 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 Oh, oh, wait. I got this. I got this. I got this. Um, okay. Hyper Potion on Sergeant Baja, but he's going to use Water Pulse and on Gligar, because it's flying type. And Bag. Let's get a Hyper Potion up at her and give that to Sergeant Baja so he doesn't die. Perfect. And hopefully I can take out that Gligar in one hit. Yes, I can. Can I? Oh, I guess I can't. Okay, I can't. That, I guess I'll have to, okay, Ozzy's now stuck. This is, this is some, uh, some shit right here. All right, let's use Aqua Jet on Gligar, just so I know I'm gonna go for, uh, yeah, Aqua Jet will probably kill it. And let's use, hmm. Let's use another Hyper Potion on Sergeant Baja, just so he stays alive. I think Ozzy can probably handle whatever they have to throw at him, especially since it's only Hippopotas. And I can always potion him next time. Alright, Mr. Spark is 33. Nice. Agility. Um, I'm gonna keep old moves for now. Just cause I don't like stat moves when I'm playing the main game. Okay, now both of us are stuck in the sand tomb. Which is no bueno. Not bueno at all. The opposite of bueno. Golette. Go okay, that's also a rock type. So this time, I'm going to hit Hepatis with a Water Pulse. And bag it, tag it for Ozzy. He needs some HP now. But this time, I think I can use a Super Potion. It'll work fine. He has significantly less health than Sergeant Baja. Yeah, we're fine. Water Pulse. Hopefully, Hepatis will die. Yes, it's dead. All right, perfect. Now, only Golette can hit us with... Sweet Jesus. I need to get Ozzy out of there now. I need to get him out of there now. You don't understand. Or kill it now. Shoot. What does it have? Special defense or defense? Uh, let's try to switch him out. Let's try to switch him out. Um, crap, 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 crap. Oh, thank God. Okay. Well, that could have been worse. Um, and now I can hit Larvesta with a flying attack, which is nice. Unless that Golar knows, Golette knows a rock type move, in which case it's dead. <laughs> Never mind. All right, perfect. Wow, that was frightening. Leech life. Yeah, good luck with that, Larvesta. That would have been effective a turn ago, but not today. Does he have any more? Even if I lose, it's different from the f is it different from the future I saw, is what he said? Let's use Razor Shell on Larvesta, and let's use Aerial Ace on Larvesta, and kill it in a awesome combo that will be sang throughout the ages. Okay, only, only Aerial Ace did the trick, I guess. Alright, Team Plasma N is defeated. The result was the same, but you... You won? I think that's what he said. I could always rewind the tape. 36 minutes, son of a... Just gonna stay composed, Super Spaz. You're quite strong. But I have a future that I must change. And for that future... I have to give you a key. I'll defeat the champion and become unbeatable unlike any other. I'll make all trainers free their Pokemon. Just try and stop me. If you want to be together with Pokemon, your only hope is to collect the badges from each area and head for the Pokemon League. Try to stop me there if you dare, Care Bear. If your convic conviction is not strong enough, you will never be able to defeat me. Alright, we need to end the part here, so I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later, dudes!